How's it going, my friend? Squizzit here, and I'll be sharing with you the best Pokemon Scarlet and Violet EV training guide I could possibly put together. There are timestamps included in the description so you could easily jump around, but to get the full understanding, let's jump right into it. EV points, or effort value points, are hidden stat experience points that determine the rate at which a given stat on a specific Pokemon will grow. Each Pokemon that you KO will yield these effort value points immediately to your Pokemon at the end of any given battle. To raise a stat by one full visible point on a Pokemon's stat menu screen, you'll need a total of 4 EV points. Think of it like a classic Legend of Zelda game. Typically in Zelda, you need 4 separate heart pieces to make a full heart container and raise your maximum health by 1. EVs work in a similar fashion. Let's say that I want to make my Pokemon gain one whole stat point in HP. I'll have to make the Pokemon that I'm EV training KO four other Pokemon that are worth one HP EV each. Four heart pieces equal one full heart container in Zelda, four HP EVs equal one full HP stat point in Pokemon. Are you still with me? Fantastic. EVs do reach a certain threshold for each Pokemon though, so the effort value system can't be abused. Each Pokemon can gain a total of 508 EVs. Divide that by 4, and you get 127 extra stat points per Pokemon that you EV train. Be aware though, the EV limit per stat is set at 252. Divide that by 4, and you'll have an extra 63 stat points. You could use 252 EVs for one stat for a bonus of 63 stat points, and you could do that a second time to a different stat to max them both out. That'll leave you with 4 leftover EVs to do with what you will. Now let me try to simplify that explanation by using my Quaquavel as an example. I wanted my Quaquavel to be a fast and hard-hitting physical attacker, so I EV trained his speed stat and his attack stat. I ended up training him with 252 speed EVs and 252 attack EVs to give him a 63 point stat increase in both speed and attack. The stat chart on your Pokemon stat summary screen shows a great visual as to how your EV training is going. You'll notice the sparkles next to Quaquavel's speed and attack stats, meaning they've been fully EV trained to 252 EVs each. To view the EV chart, simply go to your Pokemon stat summary page where the moves are located. When you're here, just press the L button one time. If you have any concerns at all about this lecture, don't hesitate to leave a question in the comment section down below. I will reply and I'll try my absolute best to answer your questions. Now, let's move on. Making a quick pit stop at your local Delibird Presence shopping center is a wise choice before you start your EV training extravaganza. Once you're here, go to the general goods section. Now scroll down until you find the list of six power items. Go ahead and buy one of each of these items. Trust me, they're worth every Poke Dollar. The flavor text for the power weight reads, an item to be held by a Pokemon. Holding this weight reduces a Pokemon's speed in battle, but allows its HP stat to grow more quickly. In my opinion, this is a super vague description, so let me break it down. There's six power items, one for each stat including HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. When your Pokemon is holding a power item, that specific stat, according to the item, will grow by an extra 8 EV points after each battle. That means if you're KOing Pokemon that are worth 1 HP EV, instead, your Pokemon will gain 9 HP EVs after a KO. This is fantastic because instead of having to KO 252 Pokemon to max EV train a stat, instead you only have to KO 28. Pick these items up, you won't regret it. Now I'm going to share with you my favorite EV training locations for each individual stat. If you end up having a better location than I have for a certain stat, don't be shy. Leave it in the comment section down below to help everybody out. With that, make sure your power items on your Pokemon and let's get started. For HP EVs, I like to train here, just south of the Los Platos East fast travel point. The Azurils, Lechonks, and Paldean Whoopers here will all yield 1 HP EV after a KO. Don't forget to have your Pokemon hold the power weight, that way you get 9 EVs instead of 1. For attack EVs, I like to train just north of the South Province Area 3 fast travel point. Here you could find large groups of Shinx and some Young Goose that all yield attack EVs. Also, don't forget to have your Pokemon hold the Power Bracer so you can get 9 attack EVs instead of 1 each time you get a KO. For defense EVs, I like to train slightly northeast of the Poco Path Lighthouse fast travel point. Here you'll run into a bunch of Scatterbugs and they're worth 1 defense EV each. And don't forget to have your Pokemon hold the Power Belt to increase those defense EV gains. For special attack EVs, I like to train at the South Province Area 2 fast travel point. Here you'll find tons and tons of Mareeps hoarding in groups of 5, so they're very easy to get. But of course, don't forget to have your Pokemon hold the Power Lens to boost those special attack EV gains. 
For special defense EVs, I like to stay in the same general location as when I was training for special attack EVs. Start at the South Province Area 2 fast travel point and head slightly northeast to this location. Here you can see I'm surrounded by hop hips and they're not exactly rare here. Each one of the hop hips will give you one special defense EV. And just a friendly reminder, don't forget to have your Pokemon hold the power band so you can get more special defense EVs. Finally, for speed EVs, I like to train just south of your house in the ocean. Here you'll find a bunch of Wingle and Magikarp. Each Wingle and Magikarp yield one speed EV each after a KO, so go nuts. But don't forget to have your Pokemon hold a power anklet to raise your speed EV gain. If all of that manual EV training sounds ridiculous to you, but you still want that juicy maxed out stat, you can resort to vitamins. If you're... rich. Just head to your local Chansey supply store and each of the six vitamins will be here for 10,000 Pokedollars each. Each vitamin will raise that corresponding stat's EV points by 10. That means you need 26 to max out one stat. That's 260,000 Pokedollars per stat, or altogether for one singular Pokemon, that's 520,000 Pokedollars for two stats. Now if you're doing the vitamin method and you're rich and you could do this somehow, you need to make a guide for me, cause I don't want to manually EV train. I'd rather do the vitamins, but I'm broke, you feel me? If you have any questions or concerns pertaining to EV training in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, don't be afraid to just shove a question in the comment section down below. I will try my best to reply to you and do it to the best of my ability. If you enjoyed this or if it helped out in any way, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, even if it's just for the algorithm, and subscribe to stay up to date with what I have going on. I've been Squizzit, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.